Hello, in this video I'm going to uh, talk about using sulfonic acids as blocking groups in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So back when I first introduced, in the, in the video I first introduced directing effects, I had shared that, you know, ortho and para directors, uh, for these groups direct to both ortho and para, will generate both the ortho and the para product. And so the ethyl group on ethyl benzene, eth ethyl benzene is an ortho para director. And when you react it with bromine and iron tribromide, you get the ortho and the uh, para director. Uh, so you get the ortho and the para product. But as I shared in that video, para usually wins because of sterics. of sterics. So if you want the para product, that's great. But if you want the ortho product uh, and you want a lot of it in a decent yield, then, then we have to maybe readjust what it is that we're doing. And, if, and you know, the title of this video suggests, in fact, what it is we want to do. We want to do something that blocks I don't know what that is yet. Uh, well, I do, and you probably guessed it because it's in the title of the video. But we'll just be—we'll be generic about this. We'll pretend we don't know what we're talking about. All right, uh, block the para position somehow. Now we have uh, the methyl, methyl, methyl or sorry, ethyl group is still there. It's still an ortho para director, but the para position is blocked. So now we're going to do a bromination. And because the para position is blocked, ortho is the only thing left. And then we are going to do something afterwards to remove the block. Now, again, because of the title of the video, we know what these things actually are. Uh, and the sulfonic acid is particularly well suited for this because it can be removed uh, using uh, a variety of means. But one of them is, you know, it's the only functional group we can put on that's easy to remove in one step. Uh, by now, if you've watched nucleophilic aromatic substitution videos, you know you might be able to remove nitrogen functional groups as well, but more steps. Okay. So our first step then involves sulfonating ethyl benzene, and that happens primarily at the para position. And now we have uh, the ethyl group, which is an ortho para director. It's going to direct uh, further substitution ortho and para. We have the sulfonic acid group, which is a meta director. So it's actually going to uh, direct substitutions meta to it, which happen to be ortho to the ethyl benzene. So uh, this position where the bromine is going to end up is actually like doubly directed. Uh, both functional groups on the ring are pointing to that spot. Now you have bromine where you want it, and the sulfonic acid group can be removed using dilute sulfuric acid. So, so dilute aqueous acid removes the sulfonic acid group, and now you have a, an approach that will reliably produce ortho substitution. I know it's a little bit out of the way, but this works really, really well. In the next video, we'll talk about how to avoid overreaction with highly activated rings. Uh, and then we'll move on to evaluating rings with multiple substituents. Thank you for watching.